welcome to the lesson time it's going to be very exciting not just for this week but this year long we're going to have some amazing miraculous stories from the old testament of the bible we can learn about abraham joseph david and many more people who will teach us some valuable and wise tips to live life in a beautiful way that pleases God. So please join in every week for this whole year and be blessed. Hello children, a happy and healthy and also a blessed new year to you, to your family and also to all of your friends. I hope you have all thanked God for every good thing that God had done for you in the last year. And let us put every effort to make God happy every single day this year. Okay? Alright, children, I'll give you an activity. Take a paper. Take a paper. Write down the good things that you have done last year. Okay? And write down the bad things. Only one thing. Okay? One bad thing that you have done. And you should write the things that you are thankful to God okay the things that you are thankful to God and at last what you want to do in this year do you know why I am asking you to do this activity it will help you to reflect which means it will help you to see what has happened and how you would want to become a better person okay so the good things that you have done you can continue doing the bad things that you have done you should stop doing okay and what else did you write? The, th the things that you are thankful for, praise God for them. Okay? And the last, whatever you want to do in this new year, every day pray about it and practice towards it. Okay? Alright. Last year we have seen how God had sent mighty fire to what? To consume the offering by, given by prophet Elijah. And this week we are going to see after, we are going to see what happened after that. Okay, so after three years of drought, what happened is today's story. And today's story's name is Rain Obtained. Rain Obtained. Obtained means received. Okay, now what happened was Israel people were terrified looking the fire that was that had come from the Lord consumed the offering and not just that the prophets of Baal and Asherah they were taken away they were put to death they were punished actually for what for misleading Israel people right now prophet Elijah went to the king and he said O king king who if you remember king Ahab okay king Ahab now you wait and watch as the Lord brings down the rain. Oh, after three years children. Now, how should, what should Elijah do? Should he relax? No, he actually went to the top of Mount Carmel, on top of Mount Carmel and he bent down. He had put his head between his legs and he started praying. Why did he do? It was an act of submission. Okay. It was an act of humbleness. He prayed to God. He cried out to God. God, let it rain. Because Elijah surely knows the intentions of God. Right? So when he, when he prayed, he asked his servant, Servant, go and check towards the sky. On which side? Towards the seaside. Okay. See if there are any clouds. Servant went and checked. There were no clouds children even after prayer. Elijah did not give up. He prayed again. He sent the servant again to see if there are any signs of clouds. There were none. Third time, fourth time, even fifth time. Elijah prayed and he sent the servant to check the clouds. There were none. Now, if it, were, if it was you and me, we would have given up, right? But Elijah did not. Elijah knew that though he was an ordinary man, God would do extraordinary miracles if you stay obedient to God. 
Elijah prayed again. Sixth time, again he prayed and he sent the servant. Do you know what happened? Nothing happened. There were no clouds. Another disappointment. Again Elijah prayed, Lord, please let it rain. And he asked servant, Servant, go and check. Now, servant went to see the sky towards the sea. And do you know what happened? There was a small cloud, you know, of a hand size. A small cloud of a hand size that raised from the sea. When servant saw that, he came running to Elijah. Prophet, prophet, I see a small cloud that raised from the cloud, that raised from the sea. Elijah said, now you should hurry and you should go and tell to King Ahab that go. Get on your chariot and go to your palace before rain stops you. Which means Elijah knows that it's not just going to drizzle, but it's going to be a heavy rainfall. Okay, now after some time, the sky became dark. It only grew darker. You know why? Because of the rainy clouds. Rainy clouds are in which color? They are in darker black color, right? So not just black, but then they are darker in shade, right? So all the clouds fill the sky and Aha, he went to his place called Jezreel. Where did he go? To his palace at Jezreel. And God had sent wonderful and great heavy downpour on the land of Israel. Children, do you think it was the power of Asherah and Baal? No, they were just idols who and their prophets were also put to death, right? So, is it the power of the king Ahab? Definitely not. Is it the king of Elijah? No. Yes. Is it the servant? No. It is the power of our mighty God. Our God can do great and mighty miracles. Children, all that we have to do is to stay faithful to Him. And if God, the same God who had done such extraordinary things through Elijah, He will do same miracles and even more greater miracles through us. If you believe it, close your eyes. Let us thank God and let us ask God. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we come to your presence for your protection, guidance, blessings and your provision throughout last year. Lord, thank you for this Sunday school. And also Lord, as we have learned 23rd lesson this week, Lord, we have learned how you have provided rainfall to the land of Israel. Lord, use me. Use every child who is watching this lesson today. Lord, it was not just the rainfall, but it was your grace that fell upon the land of Israel on that day. Lord, help us to glorify each and every day in this year. We love you, O Lord. And Lord, help us to stay firm in your faith just like Prophet Elijah did. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we pray and receive. Amen. Children, shall we open our activity sheets? Yes. Your memory verse is from the Gospel of John, 11th chapter, 40th verse. Gospel of John, 11th chapter, 40th verse. Jesus said to her, Did I not say to you, If you would believe, you would see the glory of God. God was talking to a woman there. To just believe. If she believes, that he would do great miracles. It applies to you and me also. If we just believe in God, God does mighty miracles in our lives. Okay? Alright, open your activity sheets. You have the coloring sheet. Please fill it. And you have to choose the correct answers. First one. 
it was more than dash years that they did not have rain. Three years, right? Second one, Elijah told King Dash to watch as the Lord would let it rain. Who was the king? King Ahab. Third one, Elijah went up to the Mount Dash, bent down his knees and began to pray. Was it Mount of Olives? No. It was what? Carmel. Right? Fourth one, Elijah sent his servant Dash times to look towards the sea for rain. Seven times children, seven times. On the seventh time, a cloud as small as a man's what? On the seventh time, a cloud has come, right? A cloud as small as a man's hand, okay? Sixth one, a heavy rain started and the king rode off to Jezreel. Now you have two more questions, okay? What are the three things that you have learned from this lesson? I have learned that God can do extraordinary things through ordinary people. Second thing, never to give up when I ask God for good things. First time, second time, three, four, seven, even more than that, never give up. Keep your prayers. I mean, you should continue praying and keep your prayers right. Your intention should be right. Okay. And what is the third thing that I have learned? I have learned that whatever I ask God, it should not just benefit me, but also people around me. Okay. Think. Think what are the three things that you have learned. These are the things that I have learned. Okay. Now you have another question. List out three people from the Bible whom God used to do extraordinary things. Let us not think about the entire Bible, but let us think from the stories that we have learned so far in this Sunday school. Okay? Hmm. Extraordinary things. Think. Moses? Yes, God had used Moses uh, in many, many extraordinary things. Joshua, yes. And now who? Prophet Elijah. You can keep writing because our God is a miraculous, miracle, miracle maker. So God had used so many people, children. If we believe, just as our word said, if we believe and stay obedient to God, our name will also come in the list after Moses, Joshua, Prophet Elijah. And do you know where our names will be written? Maybe not in the Bible, but there is a special book in the heaven called Book of Life. What is it? Book of Life. If our name is written in the Book of Life, it means we made God happy. Okay, let us, as I said, let us put every effort to make God happy every day this year. Alright? Children, again a blessed new year. God bless you. We will meet next week again. Bye. Take care.
So children, hope you learned a good message from the lesson. And now it's time to say bye. And bye in Turkish is Hoşçakal. Hoşçakal. Hoşçakal dear children. God bless you.